In this video, I want to talk about businesses in boxes. Now, what I mean by that is how you can either buy an off the shelf business or you can take an existing business or an existing business concept and package it up as if it was in a box and sell it on to another owner. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, basically, there are two different types of skill sets needed in business. There's the skill set for starting a business, and there's the skill set needed in running a business. And few people possess both sets of skills. And this is why many new businesses go bust in their first few years of operation. And most people find it easier to run a business than they do starting one from scratch. So there are two ways that you can either buy or sell a business in a box. One is through franchises and the other is through website flipping. Now let's talk about franchises. Franchises are generally found offline and fast food outlets, you know, places like McDonald's or Wendy's and such like, well, most of them are franchises. And the same goes for filling stations. Many big name plumbing companies are franchises too. And the same goes for companies that repair car windscreens or do roadside repairs. Most of them are actually franchises. Now with a franchise, the business is broken down into an easy to follow step by step process. And people who buy a franchise benefit from being associated with a big brand and its good reputation. They get full training and support, plus access to suppliers and the benefit of bulk buying. They pay an ongoing franchise fee in addition to their upfront investment, but they get to keep the rest of their profits. And it's a very low risk way of having your own business because all of the risk, all of the entrepreneurial part has already been done for you by somebody else. And if you have a successful offline business and you want to expand it, then franchising is a great way to do it. You know, if you can break what you do down into a step-by-step -step formula and you can demonstrate and teach that formula, you can make a tidy sum from the upfront franchise purchase and from the ongoing franchise fees. Plus, of course, it's your name that's out there, not the franchise owner, which will help build your brand and make it more successful in the long run. And if you're thinking about having a franchise or franchising your business, there's lots of companies out there that can help you. If you simply do a search in Google for franchise opportunities or franchise information, you'll find that there's lots of information out there. Now let's talk about website flipping, because this is something that people can do online and it doesn't take as much of an investment as it would do offline and not as much of an investment in terms of time and initial outlay. So what you want to do if you're thinking about website flipping or having a website flipping business is to pick a niche and establish a website. And that can be a blog or it could be an e-commerce site. You register the domain, you set up hosting, you establish the site, and you drive traffic to it. And generally, you want to have SEO traffic going to this site so that you're getting lots of organic traffic. Uh, you don't actually have to keep paying out for advertisements. And the site can make money from affiliate sales, or it can make money from product sales, or perhaps a combination of both. And if you're selling products, you can sell a single product, and it can be perhaps a private label rights product, or it can be one that you've created. And you can also sell multiple products. You can sell multiple digital products, or you could sell physical products that are sold as a dropshipper. Another good candidate for flipping sites are membership sites. Membership sites do very well uh, when you try to sell them on because there's the ongoing income from the members. So, what you do is you start the site, you build it up, and when it's making a decent amount of money, you sell it as a going concern. You make over all the affiliate or payment links to the new owner, and you move on. And sites usually sell for multiples of the annual turnover, and the longer the site's been established, the more it sells for.
but you can also sell sites that are ready to go and aren't getting much traffic or turnover. Now, here's a few tips if you're going to be building sites to flip. If you're monetizing a site that you intend to flip using affiliate sales, then you want to sign up with well-known affiliate programs. That way, you can simply substitute the buyer's affiliate links with the ones that are already there. And if you plan on flipping an e-commerce site, then sign up for a new payment processor every time, especially if you have recurring sales or a membership site, because you want to keep those separate from any other businesses or any other sites that you might have. You can simply hand everything over to the new site owner. And then when you're done, there are a few websites that you can put this up on to uh, sell your site or to flip it as they say. A couple of sites here that are recommended for buying and selling websites and the first one is Flipper and this is probably the most popular and longest established uh, website marketplace and you can see they've got all sorts of different things here uh, featured websites and so on and some of them sell for quite tidy sums you know nightowlgear.com here it says is twelve thousand dollars and rpmoutlet.com forty thousand dollars so you know you can get some quite tidy sums for selling established websites another similar website is empire flippers which you can find here at empireflippers.com forward slash marketplace and again similar sort of thing and you can see the sort of sums that are involved here as well there's also quite a good article on this site here, which is WebsiteFlipping.com, which talks about website flipping in a lot more detail than I've been able to go to in this particular video. And you've got all sorts of uh, other information on the site as well. So there you go, a brief introduction to businesses in boxes.